Hey, this is Cameron. Welcome back to the Busy Gardener channel. Today we are gonna spend some time focusing on pruning citrus. Let's get busy. So when it comes to pruning citrus, a lot of the concepts um, are similar as it is with pruning deciduous type trees, um, like you know your your plums and pears and all that kind of stuff. Um, in that you want to make sure that you're going for balance in the structure as and you're wanting to remove any types of dead or diseased branching. Um, one reason why citrus is way different than those deciduous trees is that citrus grows a lot more like a bush. You see here, it um, has a very low canopy. It is almost like a hedge. And something uh, really important to look at and why the, a lot of commercial orchards or groves, citrus groves, have um, the, the fruiting go and the branching going all the way down as opposed to some of the more traditional skinny, um, you know, trunk in the middle and then having a canopy up high is that a bunch of the fruit grows really low on the tree. Maybe the bottom two thirds of the tree will often have the bulk of the fruit. And so it's okay to leave that skirt going all the way down or near, you know, within maybe a foot of the ground. Uh, so that's one way it differs pretty significantly from pruning and keep, keeping track of deciduous trees. Citrus is essentially a hedge. It's a bush. We train them up as trees, but in, in a lot of respects, they're just bushes. And so you can come through and you can almost come in with uh, hedge clippers and create some sort of thing. Now, what is gonna inform my pruning here has to do with uh, keeping the overall grouping managed. Like this is our Eureka lemon. We've got a regular Persian lime and then a Pomona sweet lemon in the back. Those two are really big, whereas the lime is a lot smaller. Um, I'm not entirely concerned about that because of where it's placed. It's placed with a southern facing exposure. So I'm not concerned about this getting too shaded out. And yet this Eureka lemon's wanting to take off. So I might come through and check some of the height on here. Um, you don't have to worry about outward facing buds in the same way because the foliage just grows more as a shrub. So really you just come through and just wherever you want to see heights, uh, cuts made for height or width, you just make those. Like... I'm, losing, I'm losing a little bit of fruit. There are a few fruit on here, but you know, this thing's going to give me more lemons than I'm going to be able to use anyway. Um, and so if I lose a little bit of fruit, doing summer pruning. Ideally, you want to do it on a tree after the thing has already fruited. So you don't want to come in and make drastic cuts on something that has tons of fruit hanging on it. But losing a few of the fruit at the top where I've got so much fruit still in the bottom, not a biggie at all with this one. Another couple of lemons. I'm also, this is a good time to cut out any, any uh, leaves that I see that are diseased or have any sort of pest issues. This lemon has leaf miner that attacks, uh, it's a little bug that comes and crawls and affects new foliage on citrus. Um, you see there's so much beautiful foliage on here. I'm not even worrying about treating it. I used to come and spray all the leaves with spinosad, which is an organic um, substance that helps to kill any type of pest. But you know, just cutting this out is easier than coming through and having to spray the entire tree when we've got so much wonderful foliage still left. Leaf miner, they come and create these little trails, little caterpillar or whatever it is, little moth comes and lays something on here. So it affects this. Here, maybe you can see the little trails on here. Can you see that? One main reason why I like to keep my citrus uh, a lot taller and why I'm gonna allow them to grow taller, I'm not gonna check the height in the same way, is because uh, citrus fruit can hang on the tree for a lot longer. Um, so when that tree gets really, really tall, you're able to um, have it hold a lot of the fruit and so you're not gonna become overwhelmed with the volume of fruit all becoming ripe within a two week period. A lot of this citrus has a growing season of two, three, maybe even four months, depending on the variety. And so having a larger tree with more fruit on it is, is a great way to store that fruit, storing it on the tree. Uh, another reason is 
picking it. Um, I'm not going to have to get on a ladder to pick this fruit. It's the because of the rind, it's strong enough and hardy enough to be able to use a citrus picker where you would never do something like that with a peach because it's too fragile to pick a fresh peach. Could you imagine that? A big claw coming down and getting it. What would happen to that peach or that nectarine or that plum? Not a chance. So I want those deciduous fruit no higher than I can reach. But when it comes to citrus, you can as high as you can reach that citrus picker really is where you're able to, to grab that stuff. Same goes for avocados. Um, so those trees, because of the hang time and because of how hardy and strong the fruit themselves are, uh, I'm gonna allow these trees to grow a lot taller than I am any of the deciduous stuff. Viewing this lemon-lime combo from, a, from another angle, I'm coming through and I see this Pomona sweet lemon has a bunch of leaf miner activity on it. So I'll just come and cut all that stuff off. Our height is a lot more managed. Uh, this Eureka lemon's not running away as much. Took off a bunch of the leaf miner. If I didn't have to keep coming back to the camera, that would have been done in two, three minutes. Really easy. If you're lucky enough to live in a state where citrus can grow on its own, this is a wonderful fruit. A lot lower maintenance, frankly, than a lot of the other uh, types of deciduous fruit that are out there. As tasty as those are, citrus is a wonderful um, fruit to be able to grow in the wintertime when everything else is dormant. Um, that's when citrus comes on. So really in this orchard, if you look around here, I've got fruit for almost the entire year. Um, we've got our summer fruit, we have our spring fruit, uh, we have our winter fruit, we have our fall fruit. <laughs> so really fortunate to be able to grow so much here in our climate. Okay, this is a combo of our um, Tangelo and our cocktail grapefruit hybrid. And again, whenever you're doing a multi-planting, you wanna create balance within the planting. So if you've got one tree that's more vigorous, you wanna check its height. Or if you're seeing some sort of issues like we are here, um, we wanna check this as well. So remember, citrus is like a hedge. So just go ahead and treat it like that. And if you see any leaf miner activity, any type of pests, you just chop it off. So I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to check the height on this as much. This one, because it's out of balance with its neighbor, is what I'm wanting to bring the height down a little bit. Um, just a couple more cuts. Yeah, I think ready to go. What do you think? Balanced? Looks good. One other thing to consider with this is that the eventual tree height of the citrus is a lot lower than a lot of the other um, deciduous trees that I have here. The eventual height of these citrus is gonna be maybe 12 feet, 10 to 12 feet, if I let them grow fully out. Whereas those deciduous, even on like some of these apples, a full size apple is like 30 feet tall, a uh, semi-dwarf is maybe 22 feet tall, and a dwarf is 18 feet tall, way taller than I'm ever gonna be able to manage where citrus is not gonna grow all that tall on its own with some of these semi-dwarf, uh, which is really common in a lot of the you know, home goods stores, Home Depot and that. Hey, so I hope you enjoyed this quick video on pruning a few um, citrus and seeing some of the differences, things you ought to be looking out for. These are different than deciduous trees. They grow differently, they produce fruit differently, and they're just kind of a totally different type of fruit. And so um, you want to just feel okay about going through and creating a hedge type thing, bringing back some of that structure. It's supposed to be bushy, it's supposed to be like a, like a, a bush or a hedge as opposed to you know, something that's very <laughs> woody, like uh, deciduous, like this nectarine behind me here. Anyway, if you like this video, I'd love for you to subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell. What questions do you have? What tips do you have when it comes to pruning citrus? Um, yeah, leave those in the comments below. And whether you've got one tree in your orchard, 500, till next time, stay busy.